Shuggabuggas, welcome back to the channel for a brand new mod review. So today, you guys, we are going to be checking out the Party Planner mod by Kawaii Stacy. Huge shout out to you, Boo. Thank you so much for allowing me early access to this mod. I am super duper excited to check this bad boy out. And also, if you don't want to hear me flab and gab all about the dirty little details, um, you can go in the description and there will be a little timestamp that you can click on and it will take you right to the good stuff. But otherwise, we are just going to kind of read off of um, the little description here and I'll tell you guys what to expect and what you need to run this mod. So this requires the base game Get Famous and City Living. It is possible for this mod to work without Get Famous and City Living but it is recommended that you have both or at least one of them. Uh, when you let your sim become a party planner they will get paid to throw parties. They will have opportunities to earn fame and followers and you will be able to choose between 20 different parties themes which will depend on your skill level you will also be able to use your phone to search for clients who will give you payable jobs features get paid to throw parties and earn fame and followers choose from over 20 party themes get playable job offers from clients which will be hosted in different locations and have different themes get rated by your clients after each party good ratings will earn you more money fame and followers bad ratings will earn you less Less money, fame, and a chance at losing followers. Teens can be party planners and new social interactions for party planners will be available. Benefits of throwing your own parties. You can choose your own party theme and location. You don't have to wait on a client to offer you a job. You don't have to worry about ratings. Benefits of finding clients. Party themes are autonomous, so it will be a mystery each time. Having bad slash good clients contact you for offers. You will travel to places you usually wouldn't go. You can make more money than you would by throwing your own parties. How to become a party planner. Number one, plan an event. Number two, get gold. After you get gold, you will no longer need to plan an event to work. How to throw your own parties. One, click your sim and two, click the party planner menu. Warning, clicking the party theme starts the party immediately, so make sure that you travel to where you want to have the party. How to find clients. Number one, click the party planner menu. And number two, use the search for clients option underneath the network menu. Important, wait two to three hours after searching for a client for them to respond. If you get no response, you can try again until you do. The higher the fame level, the higher of the chance that you will get to get a client. Chances of finding clients, no fame, 30%, one to two stars, 45%, three to four stars, 60%, and five stars, a whopping 90%. This is what it will look like when a client finally gets a hold of you and here are some moodlets and stuff about basically the rate and stuff that they will pay uh, when the job is complete. So I think that pretty much is the end of all the details on this mod. Let's actually go into game and see what it looks like for ourselves. All right, you guys. So here we are in Del Sol Valley, the land of the party. And I am currently using my sim Brooklyn Owens. And you might actually recognize her from yesterday's thumbnail. I don't know what it is about her, y'all. But when I created her, I literally had every intention of just deleting her until I fell in love and I kind of want to make her my personal household yeah, sim which by the way I know I haven't done any sort of update on my legacy to be honest I just haven't had the time to play anyway if you guys want me to upload her to the gallery let me know in the comments down below again her name is Brooklyn Owens and I think she is absolutely freaking stunning you guys absolutely stunning so Brooklyn here is a party planner for the Del Sol Valley party agency and I went ahead and gave her like a self-employed title just so it kind of like fit the whole vibe so the very first thing that we need to do in order for her to become an official party planner in their eyes is we actually need to go over to I believe it's the social um, the social area, social menu, and then hit plan a social event. So the very first party that's going to take place is actually going to be on our home lot, which is our very old Get Famous house. Oh my goodness gracious, it is giving me some serious throwback vibes. And somewhere in here should be the ability to party plan. Okay, cool. So it's going to cost you a whopping 100 freaking simoleons. I do believe this needs to be a gold event. Uh, the challenge rewards earn up to 12 
hundred simoleons for throwing amazing parties throw amazing parties and get paid for them make money and friends and also become a famous party planner oh did i mention that brooklyn is already a level five i think in the uh, fame game i don't know if i did but i did that just so we could have a better chance at getting parties um, or clients rather, just because I really don't think you guys care to see her getting turned down, to be honest. So make sure you select the sim that you want to become a party planner. Make sure they are the head of the event. And I think you can pick a place that you would like to host your party, but we have a really nice pool in the backyard. So I think actually our lot is probably the perfect party place. So as you guys can see right here in the left hand corner, we have a series of tasks we need to complete. The first one is to obviously socialize with our guests. We need to add a last minute decoration worth 200 simoleons, a last minute decoration worth 150 simoleons, and also have Sims become happy all at the same time. Well, at least three of them. So what Brooklyn is going to do is she is going to go into the household inventory and go and find a couple decorations that are basically worth whatever this thing wants us to have them worth at, whatever, you know? Um, so let me see what it is that would definitely amp up this party for me personally i feel like adding in a little dj station would be the perfect addition and this bad boy is worth three thousand simoleons so i'm not sure if this constitute as a decoration but i'm gonna go and throw it in just to see what happens and i don't think that this actually counts so it needs to be a decoration object for from bill mode oh okay that's a little it's a little different than what i would have expected okay so i'm really confused about adding in the last minute decoration so i actually went in to build mode went to the specific category that distinctly says decorations put in the valued items and it's still no dice like it's not working however just by kind of mingling and talking to all of our guests and even making them just enjoy themselves and have a good time that was just enough to get gold so already literally like a couple hours into this event we have basically mastered the party so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to go and exit out of it really quick we're gonna go and end the social event which i'm hoping will still allow me to in the future be able just to plan parties without actually having to go into the social menu a few things that i did notice about this party in particular there was a lot of guests who attended some people we literally have no idea who they are so this is actually a really great way to meet new sims that live in your world your neighborhood whatever um we also got a notification that the party planner job was complete we earned around i want to say 1838 simoleons which is actually a really nice slice of pie and we actually did unlock the brand new party planner menu which i'm very excited to actually go and play with so the first thing is just kind of getting your feet wet a little bit unlocking the ability to kind of be on your own and do your own thing so it is seriously two whole days later in the game and let me explain why it is two whole days later so I actually went ahead and tried to play around with the party planning by myself well not by myself you guys were kind of there with me I was filming it and literally it ended up in disaster like it is so embarrassing at how bad I could possibly be at something so long story short I did a little more digging I did a little more investigating on how this whole shindig works and I I actually have some pretty valuable information to share with you so if you want to now go ahead and you know earn more followers through the party planning you can all you need to do once you've unlocked the party planner menu which obviously you did by setting up that little party under the social events tab on your phone and you got gold right okay then once you've done that you can hit network you could actually advertise for upcoming parties and then you should get a little fame boost as well as some followers it looks like judith ward really needs to take a leak like i have never seen a sims knees so damn close together in my life and um let me see we're getting we're getting some freaking clout chasers right now we have a pristine reputation and seriously from brooklyn being on the phone so much she actually ended up earning a quirk too which was kind of funny um i mean a lot of things are happening because of this mod we actually got the phone fanatic okay um obsessed with their phone a trigger using a cell phone for entertainment um i was actually using it to social network and but I, okay that 
that <laughs> that works too. So yeah, once you've done that, basically you'll start kind of earning some reputation. Apparently, you'll you'll get some followers. We have. 800 in total um another cool thing that you could do is sing to yourself or you could search for some clients so that you'll actually earn some damn coin now this is where things got a little tricky okay um originally i was receiving so many phone calls so many text messages off the freaking chizane from all hours of the day and night i was starting to get a little freaking stressed out and now I am not receiving a goddamn thing. Like, nothing is happening. Um, but the other cool thing that you can do, too, as well, is you can start your very own party. And there are so many different themes to choose from. You can choose kids party, fitness party, fancy party, costume party, community, celebrity, casual theme, bikini. That one sounds fun. <laughs> and then you can go into singles, seasonal festival, all different types of amazing, wonderful, different choices. But, of course, you would probably need their adjacent... Um, well, actually, it looks like all these, you just need a higher charisma skill. So that's actually cool, kind of cool. Finally, you guys, we have been booked for a job. Hey, Brooklyn, I heard so much about you. I was wondering if you wanted to be my party planner. absolutely. freaking lootly So it looks like this party is at the Dresden house, which I have no clue who the hell that is, but it's actually at a house this time, which is perfect. Um, it does look like we could accept and select Sims to travel with. When you click on it, it does nothing, at least for me didn't do anything so we'll just go ahead and say okay Woo! all right i'm actually really excited hopefully this is something i can work with this time because the last one was absolutely horrible i don't think i've ever been to this house before what house is this oh okay so we're actually in windenburg so right here we have a new set of tasks to complete so we need to brag and explain using the party menu which is new um and then we also need to basically socialize 12 times using the brand new socials under the party menu menu ask questions and have sims become happy at the same time <sighs> and and it's actually really nice and hot out which never freaking happens in winterberg so this should be definitely exciting and i really like the fact that again it feels like we are party planning like the stress <laughs> it comes included you know it feels legit all right so i want to see if people will actually start kind of making their way inside um like normal people okay are we just gonna stand out here all right looks like they're starting to mingle in let's come over to mortimer and hmm, you know what we are going to give him a friendly introduction so for whatever reason um he is vip now i don't know what that means exactly like maybe he's just like one of the most important people here or something i have no idea uh are all of the hold on a second i am not interested oh my god being a celebrity is seriously annoying i'm not interested in making a freaking donation who else is here we have the staff oh my god this party is serious okay vip um what else do we have going on okay i feel like this is a different type of party vip and then again staff that's actually really cool so whatever type of party this is which i have no freaking clue it appears it's very serious because there's actual staff and stuff so in order to be able to unlock the brand new party planner menu you got to make sure that you are acquaintances with whoever it is you're trying to socialize with once you've done that you will see this brand new party planner menu and it'll let you do a lot of underlying things so we need to brag and explain freaking eight dang times which is definitely a process in itself but overall the main goal is just to do as many of these party planning interactions as possible and i don't think the the, the mod is particularly picky particularly picky about who it is you ask as long as you do it 12 times like it doesn't need to be um you know different people every single time but uh let's see here i don't know if this is actually working the way that i had anticipated um okay so two out of 12 like you know it's really interesting because when you're doing the first party it's like super duper easy but then like the second one is really hard which is kind of strange so i don't know why exactly that is um let me see ask if they're having a good time brooklyn of course needs to go and use the restroom but honestly party planners they don't pee you need to come back here and talk to marcus flex because i know i know girl you were staring at his muscles okay his chesticles <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll just go and ask him if he's having a good time. And then I think we'll go and talk about being fully booked, which is seriously such a damn lie, girl. I remember just about 25 minutes ago when you were saying how you weren't getting no clients. Bish, don't think I forgot. All right. Well, you know what? We're actually creating some pretty nasty waves with people by being kind of freaking arrogant, which is definitely not putting the flux on Marcus. Now, I'm going to see if it's possible to talk about meeting celebrities. All these things seem really narcissistic. Like, I wouldn't want my party planner talking like this to me personally. Yeah, it's just a little strange, but we need it to continue to push forward and try to do all the things that we need to do in order to make this party a success. So once you get the momentum going, it's actually pretty easy to reach gold. And something else that I noticed, the staff that have been hired for this particular party actually do create dishes and things for the guests to feast on, which is quite interesting. In fact, right now, Brooklyn, because she's kind of off the job, um, she is helping herself to a nice slice of a hamburger cake. And just keep in mind, like even though a lot of these tasks here were primarily around the party planner, um, social tab not all of them are like I was speaking on earlier <laughs> with that whole freaking catastrophe um, where it's raining cats and dogs uh, okay I can stop now anyway long story short there was a lot of things to do just you know but we weren't able to do them because it was nasty outside so I'm pretty sure I don't have to stay um, until the timer runs out so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it and just to see how much I end up actually making so after all of that effort, okay, I literally only earned 300 Samoyeds. What the crap is that? Brooklyn has been officially paid 300 Samoyeds, woo, and rated by their client, which I will never, ever, ever pick up another one of their crusty little freaking parties ever again. Hawaii Stacy is coming out with the freaking shade on this one, you guys. So I just got this particular phone call at 3.53 in the manana saying, hey, Brooklyn, I saw how desperate you were on your website. So here I am offering you a job. I want to throw a huge party so I will be needing your connections. So it's the morning and Brooklyn is in a particularly foul mood because she was basically awake in every five minutes in the middle of the night basically with job opportunities and everything in between. Now the only thing that I would suggest for this mod thus far is some way to control that because when my sim is trying to sleep and it is I don't know four o'clock I keep getting these notifications about jobs and they're usually unpleasant and snarky but I do think the reason why we made uh, 300 simoleons is because there might actually be something along the lines of like a hidden skill. So the more parties you throw, the more money you'll make, which is, which is obviously very realistic. Anyway, I did want to go and play with the, let me see here. Oh my God, I can't remember what it was, but I think it was the bikini party that we could actually throw ourselves. So um, I'm going to actually have Brooklyn go ahead and start her very own party. I did cheat my charisma to level 10. We're going to throw a bikini party and it starts immediately. So again, with the adding the last uh, minute decoration, we need to have Sims um, <clears throat> eating at the same time, bragging and explaining. You know, it'd be kind of cool to be able to do this, but not necessarily have to be a party planner. Like I would, I would be down for this. Like I'd be more than down. Okay. Like being able to have this on a go like that, being themed, um, having people show up in their bikinis, going swimming, that type of a gig. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And actually people are showing up in their bikinis. So it's very much, what I planned for, which is kind of cool. So the only other things I would necessarily have to do is to make sure that everybody, um, you know, eats and all that kind of fun stuff. And I wish I was able to do more than just, you know, the party planning socials, I guess. I wish there was like, I don't know. It's kind of a weird situation. Like I love party planning and using my venue or my house as, as the place to have that party. Um, but I feel like continuously, honestly, continuously having nothing else really to, but like go through these party planner socials is a little frustrating. Um, but I love the fact that people like show up to your house in their bikini is like it's exactly what you plan for and i'm sure if it was like a kids party we would have a bunch of kids showing up you know what let's just actually go ahead and check it out and believe it or not by just even 
not even going in to all of the socials, I earned more money than the other gig, which is kind of funny. So looks like our party player job was complete and the party was boring. So I want to play uh, around with one more thing really quick. I want to see what it looks like to have a kids party. I'm really curious. So we just need to eat food. We need to continue with the party planner socials, and if I'm not mistaken, we should definitely have a lot of kids showing up, but oh my god, we have our first one at party. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my god, look at all the little kids that are coming in. Oh my god, I actually really love that. That is so cute, and then I don't know what exactly it is that they're going to do. Probably go swimming, because this is like the biggest thing that we have. Um on our lot right now but yeah basically that is a pretty good inside look at the party planner mod now my overall thoughts and opinions are is i love the concept i love the idea um i did find you know continuously having to do nothing but the party planner socials it was a little tedious personally for me i if it is a possibility i would love to be have this dropped down a little bit maybe to six um and then the one where you have to brag eight times that seemed a little excessive to me maybe four and then being able to actually add in the decorations because that was not working for me that would also be kind of sweet too um maybe changing the decorations into other things like a electronic I adding more variety when it comes to the tasks i feel like that is the biggest thing and then there was like a way to kind of incorporate this into the slice of life mod being able to like host like a little like off the whim um you know kids party to maybe be able to in, like have your your children socialize or a way to do these parties without being a party planner if that makes sense that would be um, a really cool addition as well so long story short i definitely think this is a fun way for your sims to make some extra moolah it's actually a really cool little job that obviously isn't a rabbit hole um and a really fun way to kind of get your feet wet and go around and meet new people and also um you know have that socialization and build your fame and that kind of a fun thing it's very 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 like fluent and i love the fact oh my god i think i'm obsessed you guys with the kids party like this is too cute look at all these little toddlers right again so yeah again i don't know where i just left off that but basically i think you guys should give it a go um i do believe that the official release date for this mod is i want to say may 12th yeah so this weekend otherwise if you're a patreon it is available right freaking now but again if you're not it'll be available may 12th so let me know what you guys think about this mod in the comments down below is there anything that you would like to add anything that you might change and with that said you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys